Welcome to Bob's Transit Van. In this video we're going to concentrate on the rear cargo doors. I'm going to sound deaden, insulate, and replace the factory speakers with aftermarket speakers. So let's get going. Alright, let's show you what I'm dealing with here. For, for sound deadening, I've got some Dynamat and I've still got kill mat left over from the rest of the van. On top of the Dynamat, I'll be putting this, which is called Noiko Red. That'll give you some more sound deadening. In order to install the Noiko Red, I need my heat gun. I've got my pry tools to take the trim apart. Industrial scissors to cut the Noiko. And over here are the speakers. These are Pioneer. PS A sixty five two F bought them from Crutchfield. I won't be using these grills, so they'll be looking like this behind the door panel. I'm also going to be installing fast rings. These are Roadkill, and they're. RKFR 6 it says fit 6 inch and 6 and a half inch speakers I've got the uh, wiring adapters I've also got some plastic mounting rings that I may or may not use depending on what the spacing is like and I've got some foam tape to put between the adapter and the speakers and the adapter and the metal to keep any vibrations down. <clears throat> and if you ever want to look at some videos of professional car stereo installations there's a channel called Five Star car stereo I think it is and they do all kinds of installations and in all kinds of vehicles no transits yet but you never know alright according to my information there's 19 push pins behind this panel that hold it on so I'm just going to use my pry tools and get in there and see if I can start popping some of them out
Alright, so there's the panel off. Alright, so this is a T25. There's the speaker out. <coughs> All right, next thing I'm going to do is wipe down the inside of the door with some isopropyl alcohol. It looks pretty clean. This will just get any dust or dirt. from the manufacturing process. And uh, always wear your gloves when you're working inside these doors. There's going to be a lot of sharp edges.
Once you get in there, roll it. mechanism in this door is this release handle here so I don't have to worry about getting in the way of anything over here.
That's it for the kill mat. Cut enough off here so it'll fit in that hole without having to bend it. It says not to stall at air temperature lower than 60 degrees. My thermometer says it's over 60. It's probably close. Sticky. Thank <laughs> you. 